market update here on the 15th. So last couple of days, I haven't done a video for a couple of days. Last couple of days though, we have came down here and hit the target that I was talking about and hit the other target that I was talking about here at 378. We filled the gap. So now the question is, is this move finished? We went from one demand zone to one supply zone and we filled the gap. So where can this go? Where, how high can this actually go? I find this to be a WXY move. So we got basically that just means a B C right here. And then we have a B C down. And so, um, this one should also be ABC and I think it can be right here. So ABC, ABC, ABC. Um, I think that a good target for this is potentially 379.26. But um, it can go all the way up here to 380.28. And actually, the max it can go on WXY, you can't go past the 1.61 FIB. That is sitting here at 382.66, which actually is the gap fill here, up here. So um, it remains to be seen how high it's going to go. But it will tell us a lot. If we break this high right here, then that means we're not going down to new lows. If we hold this high, then that means we can go down to new lows. Um, so really depends. If we end up going up here to 382, then you're just looking at something back down here, probably to this demand zone between 364 and 367. If we don't break this high right here, it could still only go down here to this area, or we have the opportunity or possibility to come all the way back down here to 347 ish maybe even lower than that so um, a lot is going to be determined over the next day or two maybe into Monday but I would imagine this is gonna hold but I'm not 100% sure on that um, I went through all the tech stocks I think Microsoft can potentially have 2% upside Tesla 6.5% upside, Apple 3.4%, Nvidia 3.4%, Amazon I don't think it has any upside. It already hit the gap fill. Google 1%, Meta maybe a half percent. So I'll go over those here in a second. And then Netflix um, is probably going to keep on selling off. It might do a small bounce and keep on selling off. So those are the scenarios. But if you're bearish here, I wouldn't really worry about it that much. Even if we go all the way up here to 382, we're coming down here to 367 um, minimum. But um, yeah, they're just killing premium and making it very tough on the bears right now. And for me, I bought calls down here in this area right here. And my biggest um, problem with trading is definitely impatience. And I sold most of them and almost all of them now here um, between 375 and 377 so I'm all out the only thing I'm holding right now is some Tesla calls and some tes Tesla sold puts because I think Tesla can go higher from here but besides that I'm pretty much all out and I kind of wish I was still holding some more stuff because I think probably we will go higher over the next couple of days and it's kind of annoying but I don't want to FOMO in now and um, have a drop or something. So we're late in the stage here. We have maybe a day or two left of this um, melting up. SPY um, broke outside of the supply zone but came back inside of it. If this is the A wave right here, then we hit the top of it already. Um, but it can go all the way to potentially 452.51. That would not break the high, though. So we'll see how that goes with SPY. It kind of looks like a different pattern than QQQ. I think it's probably five waves. It looks like we could be in a fourth wave or a finish right here.
So it doesn't really matter. A little bit more upside. And then on SPY, we're looking at this to go. Let's say it does go to 452. We're looking for it to come back down here to a minimum of 441. So no worries there if you're short. Um, so look for some downside after the next couple of days. Let's go straight to Tesla. Tesla um, is grinding higher here. It can do one of two things. It could be in a B wave of a fourth wave. <clears throat> or it's just going to grind higher and complete this overall fifth wave. If it does, we have a gap fill at 290. could potentially go to 296. Um, I'm in some calls, like I said. And I think that this might be the last one to pop um, during this um, cycle. So look for some upside in Tesla. If it does come down here to 262, then that's going to make it interesting because we're looking at probably invalidation at that point where it could come down here and break into 258 and completely invalidate the whole move. But I don't think that's going to happen. I think it's going to hit 290. So Microsoft could hit 346. Like I said, it has 2% upside. Been looking for this for a long time. 346, so that's 2% upside, Tesla 6.5%. Apple can come up here to like 181 probably, fill this gap right here. Um, that's about 3% upside. NVIDIA <clears throat> might be bouncing here. It might have completed ABC here. If it does bounce from here, I think it can come all the way up here to, to 471. Or maybe just up here to 469. And then I'm expecting the move down to probably 415. So NVIDIA could potentially bounce a little bit here. <clears throat> Amazon. Amazon filled the gap. So I am not bullish on this at all now. I'm ready for this to fall. Uh, this should fall down here and fill this gap here soon. And that would mean that this is probably going to fall while the other ones are going up. And that's kind of what I think is going to happen. We're going to have Meta falling, Amazon falling, potentially Google falling, and um, <clears throat> maybe Apple and Tesla finishing their moves at the same time, maybe along with NVIDIA, um, because it doesn't make sense for all these to go up 3 4% when QQQ is probably only going to go up another 1%. So there's going to have to be some that are falling and some that are going up. And the ones that are going to fall, in my opinion, are Amazon, Google, Meta, and Netflix. While Microsoft, Tesla, Apple, and NVIDIA are going up. So getting the Meta then. Meta is at 311. The target was 314. It might have already hit the top there. So it is ready to come lower down here to 265. So we are pretty much there. Um, the VIX is actually below 13. It hit the gap fill as well. So you can see how all this, all the puzzles are coming together. It went to 1281. Wow. And I think 1281 was kind of my target. If I go back to here, let me see. Yeah, look at that. It hit the target right there. So... Yeah, if you're long here, be very careful. We are basically topped out. Um, this can't go any higher, in my opinion. And if it does, then it's just some random BS, basically. They're just manipulating the heck out of it because everything, puzzle, pie puzzle pieces are coming together, and we are ready to drop. So 367 minimum on QQQ on a drop. SPY minimum 441. Potentially gap fill at 421. Microsoft is probably going to come all the way down to 270 um, for that gap fill. I think 278. Amazon gap fill at 129. Meta gap fill at 265. Google. Um, I don't know if it has a gap fill here. Let's see. Yeah, there's a gap fill here at 131. And there's a big gap fill down here at 123. So get your cash ready. Um, if you want to go long, then make sure you're hedged. I'm probably out of most of my longs. I probably have just Tesla and then maybe some sold puts. Besides that, I have a lot of bearish positions right here. So 
Let's see what happens over the next couple of days. I'm probably expecting Friday to be similar to today where it just melts up and then maybe we top out on Monday. Maybe we top out tomorrow. We'll see. Good luck trading. Um, I really hope we get this bear move because I got cash ready to go. And I'll be buying that dip probably in late October, early November. All right, that's it. Have a good night. I guess it's in the morning now. I'm in Japan, so time's a little bit off. But have a good night. Good luck trading tomorrow.